In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record directly inside of Unity and then export as far as a video file is concerned. However, to get started, before you actually dive in and do anything, we're actually going to need to come up and we're going to need to go to the Package Manager. Now, whenever you're opening your Package Manager, you may need to click on the drop down here and you may need to switch over from My Assets to the Unity Registry. In the Unity Registry, you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to look for something called the Unity Recorder. Now, as you can see, mine has a green check mark, which means it's installed. Yours may not have this green check mark. And if you highlight the Unity Recorder over here, instead of remove, it will say install. Go ahead and take a moment and install that. You will know it's installed again because you will have the green check mark and then you'll be able to work with it inside of Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this here. And what I'm going to do now is we can now begin working on the process of thinking about how we'd like to do our recording. To access the recording tools, you're going to want to go to Window and then to General. Once you've installed this, you're going to have a recorder section here and you can navigate and choose Record Window. Now, depending on what you've worked on previously, and I'll go ahead and get rid of my default, you're going to have to do a few things before you can start the recording process. You may open this window and notice that it's completely grayed out. The reason being is you need to add some form of recorder element. So for instance, if you click here, it's going to ask you, do you want to record an animation clip, a movie, an image sequence, or a GIF animation? For things such as portfolios, I strongly encourage thinking about a movie. So I'm going to go ahead and add a movie. And now what I can do is I can edit the window as far as how long I want the video to record and where I want it stored at. So the first thing to show you is what you're going to capture here. So for instance, if I click on the drop down, I can actually choose several different elements such as game view or targeted camera. These are probably my two favorites because I can actually click on the camera and if I choose targeted camera, it's going to ask me for a specific camera. Also, if I pull this down here, I can actually preview and see what the camera is going to see. However, just so you're aware, there's also a game view option that whenever you come over to game, you can also check and see what you would see here. This could change depending on if you have a player in the scene, if you want to do a fly through with a camera, or you have multiple cameras in a, in a scene. From there, you can actually set as far as what type of resolution you would like. So for instance here, I might change over to HD 720. Because for instance, maybe I want to upload this to YouTube for my portfolio. Now I can go ahead, I'm going to leave the media format as is, and I'm going to leave the file name as is. However, uh, you do have a couple of options here whenever you're looking at what you'd like to do. In my case here, you can go and you can actually choose the output by clicking on the three buttons here if you wanted to navigate and change your location. Now, however, as far as a path goes, notice that it's actually wanting to make a path directly in the current project I'm working in. And honestly, that's fine with me. I'm going to let it make the recordings video element and then output the movie here. So now what I can do is I can start the recording. So I'll go ahead and click as far as the recording. And at this point, it's up to you when you'd like it to stop. So I'm going to let it record here and then go ahead and choose stop recording. Now then, if I navigate, I'm going to go ahead and X out of the recorder window. And now if I actually navigate outside of my project here, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my Explorer and find this project. Again, I like to store my projects as far as on my D drive. So here I'll come in as far as my class 1011 here. And there you can see it generated a recording folder for me. And if I hop in there, now you can see that my movie 001 is in place there. I double click to preview. And now I have the options that I can take this video, I could pull it into Premiere or After Effects, or I could just upload it to YouTube for my portfolio.